As more and more Americans fall victim to opioid addiction, one local doctor is looking for alternatives for his patients. Instead of sending them home with post-surgery with a bottle full of Percocets, he's numbing the pain at the point of surgery, lowering the need for prescription painkillers. Six on your sides, Karen Lair has more in tonight's Finding Hope. Dr. John Malin in Nampa knows his surgeries may very well be the first time his young patients getting their wisdom teeth taken out are introduced to an opioid prescription. That's why this year he's using a new option, sending many of his patients home opioid free. Honestly, I didn't feel any pain the whole time, so that was really, really nice. No post-surgery pain and no prescription painkillers. 21-year-old Tyson Smack is among Treasure Valley residents receiving an opioid alternative after oral surgery. It's thanks to Dr. John Malin in Nampa doing his part to combat the opioid epidemic in the Treasure Valley. It's really helped. After many oral and facial surgeries, he's now using a long-acting local anesthetic called Expirel, a shot that numbs the site of surgery, helping his patients battle post-op pain. So imagine having a painful procedure but not feeling it because instead of masking it in the brain, it's actually masking at the site or blocking those pain signals at the site of the surgery. His mission is simple. It's really an effort to try to minimize the use of opioids. And proving successful. After like the first day, I was able to kind of go back to most of the tasks I was doing and I didn't waste a lot of my time. Dental hygienist Alyssa Bicandy was surprisingly pleased after she chose the Expirel route when her 16-year-old daughter needed to get her wisdom teeth removed. She never had any problems. She never came to me and I kept asking her, are you uncomfortable? No, I'm doing great. After reviewing results over the last six months, Dr. Malin says many patients are able to stick to simple ice packs and ibuprofen rather than the potentially addictive prescription opioids. You know, I just didn't feel any pain and so I didn't think it was necessary. So she didn't have to take any opioids? Nope, we didn't even feel it. Dr. Malin says right now there is just one pharmaceutical company producing Expirel, but it's catching the attention of doctors nationwide, and he hopes local anesthetics will become standard practice among oral surgeons to help cut back on the number of prescription pills circulating in the Gem State. Reporting in the studio, I'm Karen Lair, 6 on your side.